Glenn Luke, appreciate you coming straight out. Fine margins? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not disappointed with any of the players. I'm really not. I think the level of the opposition is so high, um, you know, that you can, you have to play extremely well to even be in a game with Wrexham. But I thought we played overall pretty well. It was, it was difficult to make really clear openings because they defend so well. And in the end, I think probably one goal between the two teams is probably, either way is probably fair. We know from last season there's just so much respect between Notts County Football Club and Wrexham and it seemed in the first half there was a lot of respect both ways as well out on the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. I think you know both, both sides have been naive to not respect each other because the, the, both, the, both the teams have played at a very high level for you know well over a year now so we have to show respect and I think we've earned that from them and they've earned that from us. Just quickly, something we couldn't commentate on because we didn't know what happened. They were forced into a late change and Bentoza coming into the side. He wasn't in the 18 to start with. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, but, yeah, uh, something happened probably in the warm-up and they needed to make a change and they made the, you know, made a change, so no worries. So presumably at 2 o'clock you were thinking, oh, we're not going to be contending with long throws and then suddenly you were? No, I think, I think they have other options for the long throws as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, listen, we prepared like that. You know, we, we know that there's a... There's plenty of players in the squad that can make a long throw in and it's a tool they like to use, so we try to prepare for that. And, uh, yeah, whatever happened is something that they know and we don't, and there's no problem. Lovely ball in for McCauley midway through the first half. Was that probably your clearest chance on the day? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you know, he doesn't miss very often, does he? So I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not going to criticise McCauley. Um, but I think, you know, the, the, the chances, uh, open chances are at a premium. And I think both their goals are not like completely open chances. One is a big deflection and one goes through through Aidan's legs and uh, probably uh, caught Slokes out. Um, I don't think there was too many clear openings either way. No, it was just sucker punch, wasn't it? One, two, like against Mansfield. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a massive blow, hammer blow. So, you know, I think the game was so tight, it was it was always going to be, one, you know, a goal either way. And uh, in the end, I think, yeah, two... 2-0 is probably a little bit harsh on us, but I think 1-0 either way would have been would have been respectable. Matty Palmer had to come off through injury, how is he? I don't know yet. Um, it's you know, it's uh, disappointing because you, when you know Matty's coming off, it's something that he needs to come off because he's so robust. Um, but then he's, he's very quick to recover from setbacks, so hopefully it's nothing major. Two weeks before the next league match, is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, I mean, we have a few players coming back, so probably overall is, is a good thing. But, um, yeah, we need, to, we need to just lick our wounds and, and get back to trying to win games.